Hurricanes bring the threat of strong winds, torrential rain, and life-threatening storm surge. But when a hurricane meets land, another threat is exposed, tornadoes. Here's why. When a hurricane is moving over the smooth surface of the water, winds at the surface and high in the storm are able to spin at relatively the same speed. When a hurricane moves over land, friction causes the surface wind to slow down, while the upper level winds remain strong. This creates something called wind shear, when you have a change in wind speed or direction with height, causing the atmosphere to spin. That wind shear is a key ingredient in the formation of tornadoes. The horizontally spinning air can get dragged vertically by a thunderstorm updraft, creating a prime atmosphere for tornado production. Tornado-producing thunderstorms are usually formed well away from the center of the hurricane in the outer bands of the tropical system. They thrive off the warm, moist air being pumped into the hurricane. The front right quadrant of a hurricane is usually the first to make landfall, causing the most wind shear and making it where tornadoes are most common. In 2024, the record-breaking hurricane barrel spawned an unusually high number of tornadoes as it reached U.S. soil, including a single-day July record of 113 tornado warnings on July 8th. In general, tornadoes associated with hurricanes are relatively weak and short-lived, but can happen quickly with little warning. These systems can also last for days, bringing tornado threats from the Gulf states all the way to Canada.